Venn Diagram Calculator. We're actually going to find it at Wright College, presented by Picrustable Teaching. There's a lot of cool calculators on this site, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Venn Diagram Calculator to make a really cool worksheet. So the first thing we have to do is go to www.writecalc.com, and I'm actually already there, so let me pull it up. So this is what it looks like. Right College Smart Calculator, and there's a lot of cool stuff here, but we're going to go to the Venn Diagram. So here we go. Now you're probably thinking, oh, where's the Venn Diagram? We're actually going to create it. Cool. So I'm just going to put in some names here. Hosts and vampires, and how about wolf men? Ooh, scary. Numbers we put in here are kind of arbitrary because as we create the Venn diagram, these are going to change. But let's just do this. We say 30, 30, 30. Only in B, how about we say 5, 5. And then in all three, let's say 10. Sounds good. Okay, so let's draw it. Okay, that was pretty fast. So if we look at our Venn diagram, okay, so we have 15 ghosts, 15 vampires, 15 wolfmen. That's great. But we want to add some more stuff. So instead of just... Um, five in here because we have 15. Let's make, oh, let's make it 10. So what I'm going to do is go right here, click, and look at that. It changed it. Wow, pretty cool. Um, let's say in only A and C we have three. Okay, I'm just picking these numbers out of the air. When I click in here, look at that. We have three. And our number of goals changed because now we added three more. Let's go over here to vampires. Let's say we have seven. A and B. So if I click here, I hope you notice that now our vampires jumped to 22. We have seven in ghosts and vampires, and our ghost number jumped. So as we're doing this, it's going to change the picture, but it's going to change in exactly what we want. It's going to tell us exactly what we need. And I also want to point out here, only ghosts intersect vampires are seven. Ghosts intersect vampires, 17. It's actually giving us the answers for our worksheets. Crazy. And you can put whatever numbers you want in here. The one thing we don't have is none. So let's say we have, oh, I don't know, 18 that are not ghosts, vampires, or wolfmen. And once again, we change it. And so we have none here. That's pretty cool. The other thing we can do is right click, save image as, or what I've been doing is actually viewing the image and it goes to its own place. And then I'll save the image save image as and you can see I practiced this already so let me save it right here yep I'm gonna okay super so let me show you how this is this is gonna work let me minimize this what we want to do is also we want to create something like this we want to create our own Venn diagram so let me show you how I did this all I did was just make circles you see that and I put ghosts vampires and wolfmen in there if I copied this click copy I put it in another screen. When I minimize it, whoops, when I minimize it or maximize it, it's going crazy. It's crazy. So let me delete this. What you need to do is right click, save it as a picture. Now let me show you. Whoa, crazy. And if I copy this, I go to my Word document, I right click and paste again. Look at this, it's in there. What do you think of that? So let's wrap it in front. So now I can just write, there were, actually I forgot how many. Let me go back here. Okay, so now I'm just looking for the total. So we have a total of everyone, 67. So that's going to help. So there were 67 guests at the Halloween party. You could say they were ghosts, vampires, and wolfmen. And of course, when we go back, we can just copy what we see here. I know, crazy. So we could say we had 30 ghosts, there were 31 vampires, and 27 wolfmen. So here's my 67. What we could say is the intersection, the guests that were ghosts and a vampire at the same time, were 17. I'm not sure you could be a ghost and a vampire, but you could probably be a ghost of a vampire. Ghosts and vampires, that would be all of ghosts and all of vampires is 44. That's pretty cool. So all of your answers are actually right here. And let's see if it works. Wow, look at that. Copy. Let's try it. Paste. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
and then just change it to whatever font. I really like this font. And wow, look at that. It's practically writing your worksheet for you. That's pretty cool. What you can do is actually put all of your numbers in here now and copy and paste to wherever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed showing you. If you like this background, I actually got it from 1001christianclipart.com. It's a public domain for you. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know and see you next time.